Every year around Christmas time, I feel compelled to do a video on the DIY subreddit because I know some of you out there have procrastinated your gift getting. <coughs> Me. So this could be a great help to those of you who need to do some last minute making of, of some gifts. As long as you have a lot of concrete, hot glue, probably soda bottles at your disposal. You should be fine. So let's start off with number 19 after you check out our sponsor, the like button and give it a click. Cool, okay, found on Snapchat stories. I cackle when I get to the use part of this amazing invention. Enjoy. Okay, you gotta have a little bit of wood on your hands. Of course, a, a lock, a bottle cap to a soda bottle. We'll use the soda bottle later and then a little electric motor. Is this like an automatic locking device for your bathroom? Just, you know, in case you have a stall in your house and, and you don't want to forget to lock it after you inside your own house. Someone in your own house doesn't walk in on you because that would be very, never mind. What? Okay, that was just a little ad in the middle of the thing. Not a big deal. I was very confused for a second here. Wow. Guys. I mean, who has ever been able to lock and unlock their own house? Not me. It's a very difficult thing to do. It's very time consuming. Keys are unwieldy. You always have to struggle to actually fit it into the keyhole, right? Like it's dark out. You can't even see it. You're just like scratching up your door this way with this very secure mechanism that definitely cannot be kicked or flicked in. Your house or your target of your presence house can be more protected than ever before. No lock has ever been so secure. Get this for all of your friends and family for Christmas. Extreme appliance makeover. I mean, hey, it doesn't look half bad. Painting a fridge black. Most fridges are just, they're kind of like steel or they're, or they're white. We need a little bit more variety in the fridge palette to part. That's not, that's not turned, like the, the rest of the fridge was okay. That's the handle's not turned. Okay, that looks a little bit better. You had me going for a second there. I was thinking that you were just gonna leave it. I hope that you, you, you taped that off, right? It's not just gonna look, there's not just gonna be a bunch of paint. It just, you end it there. You, you end it there. If you're gonna offer to paint family or friends fridges, don't just like not tape off the edges and, and just go over the things that weren't supposed to be painted. And it's just like, here you go. I didn't color in the lines properly, but you won't notice. Look, it's just fresh coat of paint everywhere, including over the, just don't look at that part of the fridge, okay? Does this work here? I don't know. Does this work for YouTube? I'm scared. Are we gonna get terms of service? Jiminy Christmas. I can't in good conscience recommend this to anybody looking to gift a family or friend, unless it's someone you really don't like and you want anyone who ever visits their house to be immediately scared away. This is horrifying. But I, I guess, you know, you don't necessarily have to remember to put down the toilet seat because there isn't one. So there's, there's that part of it and then and you just get to everyone everyone wants to have a little bit of company while they're taking a dump right of course who who wouldn't what do you think wall mounted too high or just right this this is probably how you made a tv a flat screen before flat screen tvs existed also this image here has just about the amount of pixels that this tv would be able to properly display i mean honestly if you had gone to somebody's house in like i don't know mid 90s late 90s or something and they had a tv that was in the wall like that you'd be like this is amazing how did you accomplish that that's incredible technology i don't know when the first flat screens really started coming out and no one would have to know that it's actually just sticking through the wall nobody just polish up those edges a little bit and no one's gonna be out on the side of the house right you're fine um i'm not sure that's how it works what did you put in there are you pickling something is that food it's food, right? You're marinating, you're pick. Oh, is it chicken? Do you, do you want to put your pickled stuff in a dishwasher? I mean, it heats up in there. I, I don't know the science behind this. Does it work? Is it, is it valid? Maybe it works. I don't know. It just seems like, you know, other methods of heating things up exist in a house with a dishwasher, like a stove or an oven, or numerous other options, a microwave, things that are meant for this other than a dishwasher, but you do you. I immediately thought of this sub when I, th when I saw this. 
maybe they're really expensive bottles of wine. Maybe they're like multi-thousand dollar bottles of wine. And then what do you do, actually? I've never thought about that. If you had a, a, a bottle of wine that was worth like $5,000, which those do exist, what do you do? Like you have to, you can't throw out that bottle. Like that's a, that's a keepsake at that point. Cause otherwise it would feel like a waste. You just turn it into trash and pee. That sucks. I understand this. Make your wine enthusiast family member a nice path for Christmas. But why? A tungsten and tooth ring I made from one of my wisdom teeth. Okay, the, the teeth that are over here, like they, those are just, that's just accents for the photo, right? Like those aren't, this tooth here is not attached to the ring. Hopefully that's not the case here. I, I'm assuming you just kind of ground down the tooth and then made the center band out of it. Looks kind of, it's like marbly looking. If you didn't tell anyone it was a tooth, they might say, oh, that's kind of an interesting ring. What did you make it out of? And then you'd say tooth and they'd be like, okay, didn't need to know that. <laughs> Why? You're joking, right? It's not, it's not, it's actually your wisdom tooth. You're, you, um, okay. That's just, that's kind of weird. Your grandkids will cherish these or bury them in the backyard. My wife Lola will be selling her crochet dolls in the precinct this Saturday, all proceeds to the drop-in center for God's sake, buy one. She's made 600 of the bloody things are all over the house. Every time I open the airing cupboard, it's like being attacked by Chucky. Okay, that's, that's not okay. Why do I feel like I might've seen this one before? That's, it's like, it's like too realistic is the issue, at least the one on the left. Like the attempt is for them to be just uncannily realistic. Whereas if you're doing a crocheted thing, I feel like it needs to have a cartoony twist to it. Otherwise, it's just, it's just weird. It's like a human that's somehow had their skin all texturified and is just very uncomfortable with it. So have like, you gotta have a little bit of artistic liberties if you're gonna do certain mediums. This is one of them. And please save counselor Rowan Batley from a sure to be future horror movie based on a true story. Ah, yes, a bottle belt. Actually kind of smart. I'm not gonna lie. Using the bottle tie-in mechanism. See, hey, I referenced back at the beginning of this video, you're gonna need some soda bottles, all right? You have a family member whose pants are sagging a bit too much? Well, this is an easy gift that you can make them in just a few minutes. Yeah, a little bit more than that if you have to take a trip to the grocery store. But you know, just take the shoelace off your shoe, bottle out of the recycling, and you're golden. You're good. This is brilliant. And what a what a great mechanism. As long as, you know, the belt just has to be pre-adjusted to your waist size. But after you do the measuring, like, you could be like, yo, I'm getting you a custom belt for for holidays. Just give me your waist size and I'll have it back to you in a jiffy. And it's custom. Everything's fancier when it's custom. I don't even want to think about the stuff this guy makes at home. <laughs> I wonder if it's a random plate or if they actually got it. That'd be really funny if it's just a random plate. Otherwise, I suppose they look at this subreddit. They're big enthusiasts about it. I don't know, maybe they just like looking at the stuff. Maybe everything they have at home is things that they bought that are well-made, well-constructed, practical uses, nothing questionable, and they just like to look at things here on the subreddit. Don't judge them. The car looks pretty nice and normal. It doesn't look like they've welded two cars together, although I wouldn't know because we can only see the front. Was this two cars welded together? It must have been. Nah, bruh, $20, too much for a TV mount. Okay, you know, plank of wood on the, oh, you're actually, you're hanging it like it's, it's a picture frame. Uh, right, yeah. I mean, I suppose it, it could work. It's pro ah, oh, that was an elegant, that was an elegant way to mount it. Just like he does the full on back dive commitment. Hey, it looks good. It works well. No one will be able to tell that it wasn't mounted properly unless the cable breaks or comes undone or something like that. And then, I mean, the nice thing is like you, I suppose could do some, it'd be easier to level it. Potentially, as long as you got the two screws nice and level, but you could also just shift the TV a little bit from side to side, and then you'd be able to level it after the fact. Although I will say the recent TV mounts that I purchased, it's amazing how convenient they just have screws on each side and you can just turn them and it 
it levels it after the fact. So even if you're slightly off on the mounting, you can fix it after the fact. I'm just, oh, it's so, it's so genius. I built a robot to fix my posture. Is this a DIY? Does it like zap you or something if you lean to? <laughs> so if, if you're not, okay. this, how does this help you? This doesn't look like it helps you very much. Just getting hit in the head. I thought it was going to be something where it like maybe reminds you of <laughs> just, you know, if you slouch down too much, maybe it gives you a little tap. Maybe it reminds you, hey, you should have better posture. Not just like bad. Just sit up straight. Don't ruin your back. You're going to have posture problems later in life. You should be ashamed of yourself right now. Learn to sit properly. Honestly, I probably need that robot. Immersive VR setup. Immersive VR set. What am I looking at right now? I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is this? What's the, what? Bleh. Oh, it's a video. Okay. I didn't, all right, all right. It makes so much more sense now that I see it was a video. I didn't see that it, oh, is this gonna happen? Dude, <laughs> is this, uh, so when you crash the car in your racing game, it just <laughs> throws you forward and you crash? I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. This, I mean, the whole thing looks a bit satirical here, given the absolutely destroyed monitor and stuff, but. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a racing game or flight simulator here with the joystick in there. You, oh, you're wearing a mask and a helmet for this. Okay, this is very. <laughs> As someone who's in the middle of building a racing simulator setup right now, I really think I've missed out on a, a key component here, dude. I didn't go for one of the hydraulic setups that, you know, like pushes you up and bounces the car and stuff like that. And now I feel like not only would I do I need that, I need the full on crashing experience. I didn't even get a steering wheel that has an airbag in it. Homemade bagpipes. Please don't copy strike me, but also, I mean, this is just impressive. This is what gets views on TikTok. Things like this, how do you even, how did you figure this out? How did you figure out how to play it? How did you engineer this? Do you actually know how to play bagpipes? This person must know how to play bagpipes. There's no other explanation for this. You know, they have decent views, but nothing with 2.4 million likes on it. Oh my God. From six days ago, this man's beaten cap made easily. I need to learn to play bagpipes, apparently. Useless wall turned into another useless wall. We turned our useless half wall pantry into... So, what, what is a half wall pantry? Did that have cupboards or storage space or... Hold on, did you just turn it into a, a wall? You didn't turn it into like a cupboard? You just, you made your wall more wall? Is there gonna be a function to this? Tell me that like if there's gonna be shelving or there's gonna be storage or something in there, right? Right? Okay, there's gonna be shelves. Oh, okay. I mean, there's gonna be shelves. So it has some function to it. Also though, the, the space that's still like left on the top from the shape of the archway is like a little, it's a little weird. Why? I feel like you should just, at that point, you should just make the wall like go all the way up to the ceiling. You know, otherwise just it's kind of an awkward shape up there, but I guess you could use it in order to put some more stuff on the top shelf, but I don't know. This doesn't seem quite as DIY. It's a cool little paint job that they did right there. I don't know that it necessarily fits. Cause like you, the rustic like brick look on one side and then very more modern contemporary on the other. It's a strange contrast. Not something I would do myself, but I can appreciate the work. It's better than a lot of things we see here. Well, if it's her cup of tea, I mean, um, on the plus side, you, you won't be able to see if you miss the toilet, right? Which, is that a plus? I don't know, usually I wanna, if that happens, which I'm, okay, there are two people in this world. People who occasionally miss the toilet, men who are standing at least, or people who lie. All right, you fit into one of those two categories. It happens every now and again, and this floor would not, it would not be helpful with finding that at all. What's the point of tracing the X key? How hard is it to just draw an X? Best aim trick. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so you put, 
a secondary crosshair over your crosshair. Fortnite players hate this. Find out his crazy secrets on this video. This is actually how Ninja was so good on, on Fortnite. It just, you know, instead of just having the crosshair, also he had an X on his monitor, which is actually a feature that a lot of monitors these days can just, you can enable it in the menus if you just want a crosshair to be like on your monitor. So, cool. Absolutely genius. Also, yeah, I like the tracing of the X key. Like, it was, it was really hard to just, like, draw two lines on, on the thing. You had to get the exact, you had to get those exact, uh, uh, probably not 90 degree angles. They're probably more like, you know, some 85s and some 95 degree angles. You had to get those perfect. And the top for the last month, Christmas gift ideas. Flashbang LEDs for flashbangs on CS. Oh, is this going to be, like, super? Oh, my God. <laughs> for when you want to get blinded not only in the video game but also real life for anyone who's looking for that immersive video gaming experience this is what the other the racing sim was missing is they didn't have this so when you play another game that's not a racing game you also have full immersion uh, this could also work for you know the crash it's just like what if you're just like dazed and confused and then you want the white lights, you're just like, you're waking up from a daze, they dim a little bit, and then you're like, oh, that was a bad accident. Such a good idea for any epic gamer out there. And then, wow, this is a great one to end on. Thank you all so much for watching the DIY subreddit. Hopefully you got some great gift ideas. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell, playlist for more, or click the end screens, and that's it. I'll see you next time.